next ET. Gwen, Katie, and Gaga rock them on stage. Kylie Jenner showing off her whole colorful collection. It's a quick and easy way to spice up your look for the holidays. So take a look at how the stars wig out. Kylie on your right side. This is the wig I wore for VMAs. This is my green one that I wore for Sugar Factory. I think I'm a wig girl. I love wigs and they're super easy. Whose is real and whose is fake? It could be one of Hollywood's best kept secrets. Well, until now. There's a technology called Lace Front. Lady Gaga wears it all the time, Beyonce. And that's when the lace is here on the edge of the wig. And if you wear your hair back, it looks like the hair is coming right out of the scalp. This is definitely Katy Perry. Yeah, I can see that. Of course, Katy's got to be the queen of wigs. Or would that be Gwen? Every night on The Voice, she's got a new look and new hair. Gwen, is this? What's going on? Is this yours? Uh, nothing here is me. <laughs> Everything is fake. On TV and in real life, Viola Davis is a fan. She wore four different styles on the season premiere of How to Get Away with Murder. And for Taraji, the do is all part of Cookie's Cool. Cookie Parents died. clubbed me in the shins because he wants to wear Cookie's wig. It's fun, it's sexy, and celebrities, they want to be a different person every day. Wigs now, they're like lipstick and heels. They're a fabulous accessory. Yep, no shame here, especially from bald and beautiful celebrity wig maker Amy Gibson. She's got a book talking about hair loss. Hers is due to alopecia. Amy now helps stars and women who have medical issues, making sure they know confidence is the main thing. Like this is something that Angelina would probably wear. It's a lot of sexy hair. They love that sexy hair. This is something that Selena would wear. Believe it or not, this is probably five or six ponytails off of people's heads to make this hair. Teeth.